Hi guys, glad to see you all. Uh, yeah, uh, let me share my screen. You see my screen? Yes. Great. Uh, <clears throat> just a moment. So I choose today's topic because um, I like to play with different kind of technologies and chatbots are among of them. Uh, basically, um, I try to do it um, on uh, with my pet project and I ha had a chance to to try uh, to do it uh, on the real project with real clients, with requirements and so on. Uh, so basically, uh, what what did we have? It, uh, this talk is like uh, not theoretical, but the sharing of the uh, of experience, how we get to the point that we that I'll show you in in, in the last uh, session in the last demo. Uh, and th that's uh, just uh, experience sharing how to handle uh, requirements for chatbots and how ha to handle some kind of tricky thing that we faced. So we had the client uh, uh, that had some side uh, service uh, with different kind of fun functionalities. Uh, it included uh, a lot of stuff like um, this is a site when, when the user can uh, log in, uh, take some actions, uh, uh, and it's kind of uh, when, when he takes an action or actions, he gets points. So it's uh, like like a little game, but with some of the, so it's like a little game. And the idea of the client was to reflect that in uh, the part of functionality in, um, in chatbot application. Uh, so basically we uh, faced requirements like duplicate some kind of uh, functionality uh, via messengers like WhatsApp. It's, uh, it was the uh, last choice. Uh, I mean, WhatsApp was the final choice for, for that uh, purpose. Uh, basically, the task was to have some dialogues when you interact with uh, with a user and uh, follow uh, some functionality of the site via dialog. So I will show the schema that uh, as an example. Uh, and the third scene, it should be maintained by a small team, about three people, but yeah, that's basically uh, also a challenge to uh, to maintain in in the uh, in the team. So uh, what do we have as uh, concepts of uh, chatbots? So it's intent. Uh, it's just theoretical part. So uh, intent is a chatbot. Uh, uh, it's what user uh, intend to do with with uh, chatbot. Uh, when uh, when we build a dialogue, uh, chatbot ask questions, or for example, user ask question or print the phrase, uh, some kind of phrase. It's intent. It's uh, basically what he wants from that chatbot. Uh, fulfillment. Uh, fulfillment is uh, action. What's going uh, after he, uh, after user 
uh, types his uh, intent. So it can be uh, just it 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 uh, can be uh, some kind of no code conception when uh, when dialogues just um, goes to the next step, and it can be the some kind of logic uh, in fulfillment. Uh, one use uh, one uh, when the algorithm decides what to do with the user, what to show to user, based on his answer, based on some API calls. For example, uh, when he wanna fetch his uh, amount of uh, points, it also uh, can, uh, it fulfillment because. Uh, uh, there is some API which should be fetched uh, and uh, we get data uh, for that. And dialects. Dialects, uh, I will speak about them much uh, at, at the end of, uh, but uh, the dialect conception is um, when you have uh, some three of uh, ways where a user uh, can be um, can follow yeah uh, so why Twilio autopilot uh, that's uh, that's several reasons because we choose we choose Twilio autopilot we research a lot of uh, stuff uh, dialogue flow uh, that stuff that exists in, in different clouds, but we choose that because it's uh, for several reasons. Uh, first of all, there are a lot of uh, programmable communication. You can see the, the services uh, in Twilio ecosystem like messaging, uh, voice, uh, email, and so on. So that and chats as well. Uh, also, the second reason to use uh, Twilio Autopilot was to in integration from the box. So it's easy to integrate it with some different uh, services, for example, WhatsApp. The, that was our final decision about Messenger we should use. Uh, also, Google Assistant and yeah, Facebook Manager. Uh, that's pretty. That was pretty enough for us uh, to proceed with uh, Twilio. Uh, and the main, uh, the the last but not least, uh, thing that Twilio has already been used on in, inside our project. Uh, it has service phone numbers. You can buy phone number, uh, US, USA or other country uh, phone number and use it uh, in, in a cloud. Uh, and we have already uh, had already in, in place that service with phone number. Also, SMS messages is also in, in the place and we used in, in the main project uh, uh, a lot. So that, uh, as I said, last point, but not least. Uh, so what can uh, say about Twilio Autopilot, because I, Autopilot is a service in Twilio, which uh, is, uh, which is used to um, to build that uh, chatbots uh, and dialects. Uh, we have uh, tasks in our autopilot. It's uh, when you have intent. Uh, remember that slide with intent. So uh, when we have intent on the user. Twilio Autopilot should uh, say, should, should define what task should be run. 
uh, yeah, and there are different tasks in, in your uh, autopilot bot. And when you type something, uh, Twilio and uh, other uh, and some uh, add-ons to, to Twilio, I mean, when you use it uh, via API in the following ways that I will show in the end. Uh, it should define the task. Uh, basically, task also uh, um, contains uh, what to do with the uh, answer of of user. Uh, also, when you answer, uh, for example, when uh, bot asks you for uh, some uh, some question uh, and uh, you type an answer you can uh, type some quantity of your email or for example if you buy in something you can uh, then you can type a number of goods uh, that you are buying uh, so for that is uh, there is a conception of, of uh, form filling uh, in in different kind of uh, chatbots. So you can define the words and their types which you can fetch from the answer. And there is built-in uh, possibility to do in Twilio Autopilot within uh, built-in types like number, uh, or email or text string and so on. Also, you can, uh, yeah, about uh, types, you can uh, inherit some types, built-in types and create your own, but it more advanced level of, of uh, autopilot. Also, you have a samples. Samples is uh, mm, that things that connected to intent. When you write something to a bot, for example, uh, WhatsApp. Yeah, uh, sample is a phrase or word uh, that can be can trigger a proper task. So it is connected to task and uh, it connected to task uh, and when you write something from the sample of, a, of tasks you will uh, get the task uh, and and all functionality of the task so uh, chatbot is not that thing that really uh, can can be understand it by you uh, by showing uh, pictures, but uh, yeah, I have some demo. Uh, I have some demo. Just a moment. Uh, sorry. Where is it? I think I've I have I closed <laughs> that window. Sorry for that, but I will enter and yeah, everything will be good. Um, so Twilio console uh, is looks like. Uh, um, yeah, looks like this, and we have uh, Twilio Autopilot service here, and we have some bots in, in there in Twilio Autopilot. Uh, yeah, I will show you some demo uh, demonstration, but you can basically. Uh, log into Twilio, uh, sign up to Twilio and try it by yourself. But I, I will try to explain some concepts of, of that uh, 
of task, for example. When we have a task, for example, greeting, uh, yeah, we uh, have connected samples here, and it contains 24 different variants how to say hello, hi, good morning, hello, what's up, and so on. So Twilio Autopilot uh, knows when you greet it, uh, then you should run a greeting uh, task. What task is, is a, um, a list of an action. So it's uh, important to understand the, the task contains actions. So uh, cu current task contains uh, say action, which just on your when you say hi, it, it says hi and, and so on and this phrase. Uh, also when, when you uh, play with uh, that uh, uh, autopilot uh, uh, bots, you can just try by simulator. So uh, when you change something, and uh, you can basically try if it works, how it works, how it reacts. Uh, yeah, and you uh, can just um, play with that. Um, so it's just an example of uh, some dialogue. Yeah. Uh, one. Uh, the interesting task here is uh, the interesting task here is uh, start survey. So it uh, contains of actions. One action type is say when you say something, and another type is collect when you want to collect something from user. So uh, you hear and collect, uh, collect action contains questions. When uh, bot asks you some questions and tries to parse that, uh, that answers that you uh, provided with uh, some type for example, a number, or there is a built-in type, yes or no, yeah. So it, it uh, currently this, uh, this bot works like um, without any backend, without any uh, additional code from, uh, from the box. But we had, uh, as I mentioned before, we had much uh, more uh, complicated task. For example, uh, we should have some dialogues uh, when we have something was wrong. Uh, when we have, have some dialects which uh, uh, user should follow, for example, uh, bot asks you, uh, you greet bot, uh, bot asks you, uh, says uh, what is a bot about and what action should be done with that bot. So you should handle uh, these branches, uh, these different branches uh mostly one user chooses uh, to follow other branch uh, left branch or right branch uh, it um, your code should handle that uh, so i can show how to uh, how it was implemented uh, basically uh this that schemas from clients were much more difficult and it's not like a tree a binary tree it was uh, uh, the dialects could have uh, 
not two choices but three five ten yeah when when it asks uh, some question and you uh, redirect uh, your user to uh, to some uh, dialect branch which uh, he should follow uh, so mm -hmm. I would like to when you face that, that task and you connect your uh, existing project via API and you have to uh, you have to uh, just a moment yeah uh, when you connect uh, you, uh, Twilio chat, uh, chatbot with uh, API, uh, and you have to use uh, Python SDK. Uh, fortunately, there is uh, good uh, there is good uh, Python SDK. of uh, uh, code. The code is pretty simple. And uh, Python SDK for Twilio is pretty uh, good. Uh, also, we can uh, add samples via Python SDK. So we uh, created the task previously, and then we should uh, fetch this task and create samples in, in them with uh, samples dot create uh, method. Uh, also, uh, there is uh, um, AI uh, behind the autopilot bot, uh, which uh, gets the samples and try to uh distinguish what user intent is uh to to make it work uh there is uh, there should be uh build model so uh, you should uh, say autopilot say the say about uh that uh, your model should be built and after that uh bot can distinguish your intents and what you are saying to uh to uh, to your bot uh, so when we have such lovely sdk when we have our requirements uh, and small team which uh, should uh, cooperate uh, together and uh, we thought that just uh, uh, editing the bot inside the Twilio console, yeah, uh, there was a JSON with actions. We can uh, uh, we can spoil each other's uh, work uh, when someone editing uh, some some kind of uh, uh, bot uh, or task or action. And another, another one is added in the same task. Uh, and we has come to conception of uh, uh, why should, shouldn't we make it inside our code to, uh, so the tasks and the actions should be represented as a code inside our uh, code base and we, we decided to implement that. So I will show some uh, tasks. 
for example, uh, yeah, and to implement uh, that dialect, uh, the dialect schema that, that I showed you, uh, this one, yeah, we should, uh, we should follow that, that schema. Uh, so you you see this green uh, uh, green squares, and uh, this is one uh, one branch of the flow, and uh, the others is the second branch of the flow. So we decided to implement it in as a code, uh, uh, and it looks like. Um, a, some class uh, which contains uh, chains of the tasks. That uh, so the the basic thing that should be uh, uh, what 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 is the idea behind? There is a chain of interaction we uh, just uh, uh, named it interaction when you have some tasks and and you have some class which uh, chooses uh, where the dialogue goes uh, it, it when it depends on uh, some of uh, answer for of user and uh, so uh, I will show you task. Uh, task can consist phrases. It uh, samples in Twilio Autopilot. So by, by code, you can uh, just uh, have a list of phrases. It can be uh, just a list of dynamically uh, uh, the dynamically generated and uh, every task has action uh, for example there is an action say and action which builds questions uh, so Uh, we have the task and we uh, we execute task initial task uh, which is uh, hi I'm, uh, I'm your buy ticket bot uh, and then uh, what should I do task which is uh, what do you want me to show list of tickets sorry just something wrong <laughs> with that uh, or buy a new one. And then uh, users should uh, have some input. So this class uh, should be, uh, should decide. Yeah, there is a method that decides uh, where to go, what task is next, uh, depending on some, uh, on uh, users, uh, uh, intents on answers for for that question. I just put it some little list of uh, variant that uh, uh, can be uh, can can be got from user. Like show me the list, show a list if it's a lazy user, <laughs> uh, or user can buy uh, some tickets to event. Uh, so basically, um, when, when the user uh, chooses one of the options, uh, there is a decide uh, next, uh, next chain method that uh, uh, redirects to, to the task uh, th that is needed. Uh, for example, when we uh, 
uh, when we intend to have a list of events, we uh, redirect to event list chain of uh, for user. And event list chain is a uh, is a chain. This this one, this uh, orange one. Uh, And it uh, it consists of uh, it it consists of the tasks and uh, uh, handling the uh, user <clears throat> handling user uh, response. Uh, so. Uh, how how we did it. For example, we uh, have this this all stuff stuff in the code, uh, and we can just <clears throat> create some bot for it. Uh, Uh, when it creates a bot, it has already predefined some uh, predefined stuff like the greetings, task, fallback, goodbye. Uh, yeah, we can <clears throat> just delete it uh, or let it let it be. Uh, and when we go to settings, we have. Uh, we have assistant ID and we can connect our project uh, with that assistant in Twilio. And <clears throat> so we can run our predefined command that pushes all that uh, already defined uh, define task in Twilio Autopilot and uh, make sure that they are there. Yeah, there is a list of event. What should I do? Uh, ticket have been bought, a list of ticket, QR code for ticket. Uh, basically that, uh, that allows, allowed us to work uh, in different uh, environments. For example, when we have three developers of so four, four or five, uh, everyone has this uh, his own boat uh, and he works with the code and his own boat. boat. Uh, when we have uh, dev, dev environment in, uh, uh, for example, to test, yeah, staging environment. It's uh, yeah pre-prod environment and production environment. They are different. Uh, um, we can uh, have different bots for different environment that work separately from each other. Uh, uh, changes are going through through a code, uh, and yeah, every developer does don't interfere and maintain correctly his own bot, merging his code into, uh, uh, into masters uh, and uh, yeah. So it, it is uh, main maintainability issues that we solve in, in such way and uh, conception, yeah, you know, uh, currently, many people say that uh, there is a good conception of no code. Yeah, it's a great conception, but we uh, developed a, another one uh, that it's totally should be cold. Uh, yeah, and I will show how it works. Uh, if it 
Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I, we have here overlapping as far as a uh, overlapping samples. Uh, so it should be deleted. Just a moment. And we use uh, sim simulator, uh, which is uh, in in place. Uh, just a moment. I think the the task that uh, was predefined in when you uh, create interfering the dialogue. Okay. Uh, something is wrong with. Sometimes this that uh, simulator is stuck in a bit, but uh, yeah, yeah. And another thing, uh, since. Um, uh, since uh, Twilio Autopilot uh, calls some co callbacks to your code, so you should use uh, ng-rock uh, for that, but I should change it and restart. Yeah, it's running. So we say hi, uh, and it say it says hi. I'm I'm, I'm your buy ticket bot. You can manage uh, your events uh, ticket. Do you want me to show a list of ticket or buy a new one? So uh, I say list, or I, I can say any sample. Yeah, that we predefined in, in the task. And uh, board can say me uh, what tickets uh, do I have, so I can choose one, uh, and it uh, just uh, generates some uh, link to the ticket or a QR code. Unfortunately, the um, simulator can't work properly with images. That's why I. Uh, that's why there is a link, not a QR code image. Uh, so we can return uh, to to the dialog, and uh, the bot also uh, asks me, uh, gives me opportunity to buy a new ticket. I can say new. And um, I simplified the dialogue, but yeah, it says that I have uh, some list of artists that you can choose and you can buy uh, tickets. It's just small demo how it work and uh, what, uh, what can be done uh, dealing with, uh, with Twilio autopilot great you bought the, the tickets as uh, a ticket mm. yeah that's all i 
I wanted to say about if you have some questions, please. Hi, everyone. So I have a question uh, regarding uh, if Twilio uh, automatically learns and trains itself, or I should uh, pass all, all the needed uh, answers by myself. Or for example, uh, let me give you an example of uh, Google Dialog Flow. So it can learn among it, its own database, for example, uh, greetings list. So I should not uh, put uh, every possible greeting in my chatbot. So hello, hi, what's up, etc. Uh, it uh, trains and knows these greetings by itself. Does that video really is the same? Um... I get not not as uh, such uh, not as it dialog flow does. Um, I think it can uh, when when you have samples. Yeah, yes, I will show you when you have samples. Uh, yeah, uh, you can predefine it and. As, as far as I noticed with, uh, with that predefined samples, uh, that it can uh, just uh, learn, uh, for example, when you have a phrase, yeah, uh, here that would be all thanks, yeah. And if there is no thanks in, in this, samples uh, it can also uh, uh, match to this phrase so it it doesn't uh, works like full matching but it matches somehow uh, with some uh, part of, of the of the sample uh, but i doubt that there is a lot of um, a lot of learning behind that uh, but some uh, some uh, so yeah but, but it has some magic under the yeah yeah it has some magic and uh, it's it's not described uh, properly in documentation i think they expect to have only that samples but they are trying to do some small magic uh, not uh, full uh, learning, but some small one. And does uh, this uh, developer console has uh, some section to capture uh, wrong queries or queries which uh, both uh, couldn't answer to? Uh, there are queries. Yeah, you you can follow the queries. For example, uh, uh, there is a log of the queries, uh, and basically you can analyze what intents of user was uh, provided by by user and have some information uh, about what uh, task was triggered by by that. Uh, uh, intent by that query uh, and yeah basically you can do it uh, i i guess there are possibility also do it via sdk uh, but i can't really uh, describe a lot of uh, about uh, that uh, about that because we didn't use that um also we have when when you use sim, simulator you can uh, switch on the bug the bug view uh, and it provides a little bit more details uh, of uh, dialogue for example dial, dialogue in four uh, the API call of for Twilio and so on. So it can be uh, also used to debug some 
some issues with that. Yeah, choose Drake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. And uh, the last question probably for, from me is, uh, does this Twilio chatbot uh, has uh, the thing like context, holding the context? So for example, if we uh, going through certain thread of a dialogue, let's say we want to uh, have a day off and the chatbot asks which kind of day off it's, uh, uh, would it be? Uh, vacation or something else and then it it doesn't need to ask you again what what type of uh, uh, day off you need so holding a context does it have something like this um, yeah no it doesn't uh, there is no context in in that um, in that way that it isn't implemented in dialogue flows that there is explicit context uh, but when you uh, uh, when you use your application, it can store some context for you because uh, Twilio we, we choose the Twilio because we uh, have some certain task when you have that strict dialects and when user can, uh, go to one branch of dialog or another branch of dialog. So it it uh, mostly handled by uh, Python application. Uh, Twilio uses uh, is used for uh, tasks um, tasks and all that uh, connection to WhatsApp to SMS to uh, mobile number or yeah phone numbers so it's basically uh, in our case it was used not to have uh, a, a lot of uh, possibilities like dialogue flow has okay got it thank you anyone has uh, questions uh, yes, Sergey. Thanks for uh, presentation. I have a question regarding uh, the timeouts or some working with time. For example, if the recipient is disabled for 10-15 minutes, so it could it be some flow regarding this? Um, yeah, when we have this, uh, uh, let me show. Uh, it's a task chain. Yeah, you have a task and uh, branching where user should go. What next task? And uh, basically, there is a logic behind that. Every user uh, has uh, has its record uh, in, in database, and uh, every user has its session because. Uh, when you use uh, one mobile phone and, for example, WhatsApp, you have WhatsApp on, on laptop and on mobile, it's different dialogues and different sessions. So uh, answering your question, the uh, position of uh, where user is stored for every session. For example, when you just uh, write something uh, 10 minutes ago, uh, you will return and answer that question that was asked by bot. Uh, and it will proceed the dialogue from that place exactly. Uh, OK. And if uh, the user is unavailable for some time, uh, will it be some event like um, ask him again something? Are you still here? Do you still need something? Um, it can be implemented, but uh, we ha hasn't 
haven't uh, such requirements, but it can be implemented uh, if, if with that approach, with uh, that tasks and intents as a code. But yeah, uh, in current state, uh, in that state of a project that we had and requirements that we had, uh, there was no possibility to, to do that, to remind the user uh, that you stuck somewhere in dialog. Uh, will it be like uh, some another event, like event in activity of user, or there are some maybe other options how to do it? No. Uh, yeah, it was not implemented, <clears throat> but uh, there is sessions that store uh when and where users stop and depending on on that session data uh, we can just trigger some uh, uh, some uh, and push push uh, some message to to user mm -hmm. okay thank you and maybe the funny question um, did you try uh, chatbots to talk to each other, like to, to recipients a chatbot and uh, <laughs> what happened in this? <laughs> That's a great idea, but I haven't tried. <laughs> yeah, um, you know the problem uh, that it's not clever, such clever chatbots when they learn from each other. Uh, you know the story when uh, I, I, I don't remember who exactly, but I guess it was Google. Uh, they invented the artificial intelligence and then can speak to people. Uh, yeah, and uh, they switched off very quickly because he learned a lot of bad stuff from people. I'm not sure that uh, in such configuration, in such approach, two bots can uh, communicate. Uh, but if you script exactly what bot should answer to a particular question, then it can be. Any other okay, questions? Okay, thank you. Uh, 